Hey, it's Rebecca here with this week's 60 second blister tip and today it's about moisture wicking socks. Now I love moisture wicking socks but some people think they work a bit like magic. They are not able to move moisture from the inside of the sock and push it out leaving the sock behind to be bone dry and even expel it out of the shoe. That would be like voodoo um, but if only. Uh, what moisture wicking means in fact is that the sock construction, the fibres of the sock, facilitate the movement of moisture throughout the sock. So there's not going to be concentrations of kind of sogginess in certain parts of the sock while other bits of the sock are dry. It's going to be an even moisture content. This is good for blister prevention, but again, they're not magic. So if you're using moisture wicking socks, but still getting blisters, there's every reason why, and you just need to find something a little bit more sophisticated for your blister location, something that's honed into where your blisters are.